you guys, it's Mrs. of Fabulous, and I'm back again with another fun makeup tutorial. So today I decided I want to come on here and do something glittery again. Yes, y'all. I haven't played or worn makeup for that matter in a while, so I decided maybe let's play with some glitter. So I purchased the Wahala palette over quarantine when we was locked down in the house. So I decided I want to come on here and share a look that I created using this palette. I used all of these colors in an L shape right in here to complete this look. So, if you guys are interested to see how I achieve this look, then maybe we see too. All right, you guys, as you guys can see, this is the look we're going for. It has been a while since I have like actually played, played in some makeup and actually started thinking about tutorials, so I had to do one eye first, because I was like, baby, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. So, what I started off doing, I already applied this Anastasia Brow Gel, and I absolutely love this. I have nothing else on my brows. I can wear this by itself as long as my brows are actually like cleaned up. Um, so, since I already have this on and I'm wearing the shade um, medium brown right now, I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm going to sculpt my brows. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this as a primer all over my lid. I have no clue where my MAC Paint Elite Paint Pots are. I have like two, and for whatever reason, they have disappeared. So I'm just gonna use this as a nice clean blank base all over my lid. And then after I apply this, I'm gonna go in with some setting powder to set this so that my shadows and stuff do not crease. All right, you guys, now we're gonna go into the Juvia's Place Wahala Palette. And I'm gonna go in here and using the same dome brush from the last video. I'm just gonna use a chunky pencil brush and we're gonna go into this color right here called Unsilenced and it's like a neon coral color. We're gonna take this and start using this to carve out our crease. Once that color is deposited, to blend it out, I'm gonna go into this color right here, and it's a really nice orange I mean, mustard shade, and it's called Over Savy. I'm gonna use this to help blend out this coral. And as you guys can see, I'm gently at the tip of that shadow, softening out those colors. Then I'm gonna go back into that chunkier pencil brush, not depositing any more color, whatever's left on the brush already. And just go back over that coral just to intensify that color if we build it out a little bit. Next, with the same don't pencil brush, I'm gonna go into the color fire, which is this beautiful red shade right here. We're gonna go into that and start warming up our outer our outer crease. And with my eyes open. I'm gonna just tap the color directly in the outer part of my eye. I'm not blending the color yet, I'm just tapping the color where I want it to be. And once the color is intensified how I want it, then I'm gonna start slowly working it over and blending it in with that neon coral shade. And I'm slowly just working it over towards the center of my eye. Slowly just dragging that color over. Once we have the deposited color, we're gonna go back in with our fluffy brush and we're just gonna blend out any of that. I'm gonna dip lightly into that neon coral and we're just gonna blend out the harsh lines in the red so that we have a really nice transition between the red, coral, and yellow. 
using circular motions, I'm just buffing it out lightly. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take a synthetic brush and I'm just gonna wet this brush with some water. Tap it off a little bit. I'm gonna go into this color called, is it called Romers? Yes. And it's a beautiful copper shade, but it kind of has a little bit of like rose gold undertones to it. So we're just gonna take this color and we're gonna pack this on the outer half of our mobile. Once again, we're gonna wet it. Going back into the Wahala palette, we're gonna take the shimmery gold in the palette and it's called Pepper Body. And we're gonna take this shade right here and pop this on the inner corner of our mobile lid. liner and do what I do boo boo this is my signature ring it on my eye Today we're gonna go into the Laura Mercier face primer. I'm gonna use this all over my face. And for foundation today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I've had this foundation for a while. I haven't even opened it yet, but we're gonna go in with the NARS. This is the NARS Semi Matte All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And this is in the shade Medium Dark Syracuse. So I'm gonna use this as my foundation today. So going to go back in with the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer and I'm using the shade, I'm not quite sure, oh the shade's on top. So I'm using the shade Sand Beige um, 05 and we're going to use this as our highlight today.
with my Airspun setting powder to set my highlight and then I'm gonna go into my nude stick for my contour and contour my face. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go back in with the Hot Coral, which is unsilenced, and the Red, which is in fire, and we're gonna smoke that out on our bottom lash line. Today we're also going to go into another Juvia's Place palette and this is the Saharian Blush Palette 2. And I'm going to go into Yara and Zoba. So I'm going to go into both of these shades. I'm going to use this as my blush today and this as my highlight. But I'm going to mix this and these two together for my blush. give a nice generous coat of mascara to my top and bottom lashes. final look. I went in with ColourPop's Avenue Liquid Lipstick instead of Pumpkin just because I felt like the look needed something brighter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure you thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.